Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Nay back with another video. So I just came back from Marshalls. I went after work and I actually came up with a lot of good stuff. Not a lot, but it was like some stuff that you know I wanted to get. So you know I got I only got a couple things and this was the most exciting one that I got. So I had to make a separate video for this one. I wanted to see like what type of sales and what type of stuff they got because I already know Marshalls is have all seasonal Christmas time they're about to have like double the price off so I went try to work up my little you know sale so I found this Azura Lux rose gold sparkling peel off mask you guys already know if you've been on my channel that I'm like a mask girl but not really but I like masks I have several other different type of masks that I use I have a lot of masks and this one is really fun and the packaging is super cute. It's all sparkly. So hopefully it looks like that. I have sensitive skin, so I'm a little scared to try this, but we're about to just see how it goes. Oh, it claims to tone your face, rejuvenate your skin and reduce wrinkles. It says with 24K gold and rose hip. I don't know what it means by hip. Um, On the back it says this luxury rose gold sparkling hydrating treatment deep cleanses to build uh, to remove buildup of oils, dirt, dead skin cells, and impurities. Boom, we need that because my skin looking a little crazy. Okay, so it says rose hip oil. Oh, it's an oil. Rose hip oil moisturizes and smooths skin, helping to soften lines and wrinkles. The mask peels away easily to reveal softer, rejuvenating, and toned skin. Okay, so let's give it a try. It says... Put a generous even a layer onto your skin. My face is super clean. I just washed it, just came back from work. So we have a clean skin. It says to do it on clean skin. It says allow it to stay on for 20 minutes or until dry. So let's look at the ingredients before we start. Cause like I said, I have sensitive skin and <laughs> as water, rosehip oil, it says gold, <laughs> I don't know. Collagen, sodium, vitamin C, vitamin E, cocoa, something. It has aloe and then a whole lot of other stuff so i'm ready to try this let's see this was only 5.99 so <laughs> budget bitch okay so it doesn't really have a smell it actually smells like lotion this is what it looks like oh it looks really pretty it looks like a highlighter let me just show you guys the consistency oh it's really thick and sticky well it is a peel off mask so i'm about to just put this on my face and we're about to see if we're going to be glowing and glistening like it says so i'm only going to really focus on like my troubled areas this mask is like cooling like it feels good it feels refreshing it's not that glittery i'd say it's more off the like sheer looking side yeah it just looks like clear shit okay so while it's on my face it has like a perfume smell to it and it's like really messy like it's getting all in my hair okay so this is what we're working with let me go wipe this off my lip and my hands. My hands are like really sticky. Okay, well, it's on my face. It actually smells like perfume. I don't know if I already said that. It smells like perfume. It has a, re a really strong scent on my face. It feels like it's glue on my face. It feels like a sticky mess. But that is how all like peel off masks are. So I'm kind of, that's kind of what I expect. So I'm about to just wait 20 minutes and we're going to be back. Give you guys a close up real quick. Because this is no way, shape or form like glittery. Or what does it say? It says sparkling peel off mask. This is not sparkling. What is this? I wanted to show you guys that after this mask dried up, it did glisten a little bit. It's not so much shimmering, but it has more of like an illuminating effect to it. So I think that was really cool. It's been 20 minutes. This mask is dry. I can barely move my face. Like, my face is super hard right now. I'm ready to take this mask off. As you've seen in the last clip, I tried to show you that this mask does look shinier now that it's dried. It's not sparkling, but it is super shiny. 
I had this open and it spilled like all in my sink. So I don't like that. Just peel it off. Uh, I'm trying to move my face around so I can find a place where to peel it. Okay. I'm gonna peel from right here. Hopefully this doesn't hurt like the black mask. I'm gonna just peel from right here. It's not gonna be perfect. So. Okay. I was trying to do it pretty and perfect, but it just looks like we're not gonna be doing that because the little pieces keep peeling off. Okay, so this like hurts. It's peeling off my hair from my face. Can you hear that? Like, listen. That shit hurt. My skin doesn't look that different. It just looks spread. Okay, so this mask actually hurts really bad. Especially around the nose area. Yeah, this is definitely about to rip my nose ring out. Um, let me try to rip that. Ow, this hurts so bad. <laughs> this hurts, y'all. This hurts badly. So I don't really see like anything on here. I would say a piece of hair. But my skin feels soft. I don't want to finish. That was the worst mask ever. I'm gonna stick to my cream masks because <laughs> that shit like hurt. I'm not even done yet. <laughs> I'm trying to like scratch it off. I want it to come off. I'm about to just wipe the residue off. Okay, so the mask is off. I'm about to just follow up with my favorite moisturizer. I'm using this cocoa butter formula. Heal Soften 24 Hour Moisture Moisturizer. That was a long name. My face is super red, bitch. Super fucking red. So I did the mask with my eyebrows on because I look like a red without my eyebrows. And I wasn't putting the mask all up here, so mind your fucking business. Because I already know how people be in the comments. Why you do the mask with your eyebrows on? Why can't you be normal? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Okay, so for the results from this mask, I think this mask was a piece of ass. I honestly think this was a waste of $5. All it did was like peel off my hair. It did make my skin feel soft, but like my skin was never rough. It doesn't look brightening or anything either. It doesn't really look toned or whatever either. I feel like I look more pale. Like peeling it off made me look pale and red. Like it really burnt really bad. It says it was supposed to be a luxuring hydrating treatment. Which it did feel hydrating when I put it on, but the afterward outcome didn't really, like, excite me. You know you have some masks that you can actually see a difference after using it. Like, the cooling effect actually will do something to your face or your skin. But, like, this one didn't do nothing. It was just, like, for the beauty of it. It's fun if you had, like, a girls' night out, girls' day, spa day at your house, you know. And you guys wanted to do, like, fun peel-off spa masks. But cute ones... I feel like this will be cute or you know if you're with your little sister and you guys want to do something but if you're looking for like an actual treatment for your face i don't think this will be the way to go because this is actually kind of a waste well there it goes i tried my mask and that's it for the video like i don't know what else to talk about i'm about to put up a marshall's haul though where i got this and many other things for almost under ten dollars so go look at that because they have a lot of budgets they be having all the stuff at marshall's they got anastasia smashbox bare minerals they have so much things at marshall's it's like damn they got their own little sephora section and the stuff don't even be like really like high price it really be like discounted high-end makeup for a discounted price 
you can barely get discounts at Ulta or Sephora. So that's good. I'm looking more into Marshalls cosmetics, accessories, and stuff like that because I really like finding new things from there. They have a lot of unique, different things. When I was there, I seen a lot of like face oils and serums. They had like pillow sprays. They had a lot of masks. They had lots of makeup brushes, eyeshadows, foundations. They had a lot of stuff. I really enjoy Marshall's little, you know, woman feminine section. Well, that's it. Make sure you guys enter my giveaway. It's about to be over in a couple hours, so you better hurry up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you watch my haul. Love you guys. Bye.